I love learning, but I'm also really time poor. So I've gotten a bunch of experts to try and explain to me something about their field in the time it takes for an elevator to go from the bottom of a building up to the top and then all the way back down. And this time I'm going to ask someone about string theory. Now I have my own string theory, which is along the lines of how long is a piece of it? But I've heard that string theory is actually the theory of everything, and I don't know how you can fit that into an elevator ride, but that sounds like a them problem, not a me problem. So let's go see whether they get tied up in knots or not. So have you heard the saying, if you can't explain something to a six-year-old, that means you don't understand it yourself? Yes, I've heard that saying. I'm your six-year-old, <laughs> let's do this. Ready? What is string theory? So string theory is the idea that at the smallest level, all of the stuff in the universe, everything we can see, all the atoms, etc., are made out of these tiny vibrating strings. Okay, so why is this important? It's important because physicists are lazy. At the moment, we have two fundamental theories, quantum mechanics on one hand, and we have general relativity on the other hand, which describes gravity, and they don't work together. String theory is this idea, one of the ideas would bring these two together, so we'd have one theory to work with. So do we know if string theory is true? Is there it, evidence? There's no observational experimental evidence at the moment. The problem is, is that we'd need to build a large hadron collider the size of our galaxy to actually test the energies. It's a theoretical idea. People love the theory, love the mathematics, but... Well, why do they love the maths? Because the maths is beautiful. Yeah, so physicists love beautiful maths, and string theory is built on this very beautiful idea that... We're halfway. Are you halfway? Halfway through a word. All right. <laughs> Let's go back down. And I want to know, what makes maths beautiful? Well, physicists are attracted to beautiful ideas and beautiful mathematics. Mathematics you can write down relatively simply, but has lots of consequences, so you can explain lots of things with it. So string theory has grown building up this, these mathematical ideas to sort of encompass gravity and everything else. So it ties everything together. Absolutely. Uh, that's why they made it strings, right? Aha, uh -huh, yes. What is a string? Uh, see, now it's a tricky question. Um, in our mathematics, the strings are these one-dimensional loops that vibrate, and how they vibrate tells you what they are, either an electron or a quark or something else. So they're all the same, but their vibrations is what makes them different. Yes, right. And they're vibrating in multiple dimensions, maybe 12, 15, or 24 dimensions. But you can't answer the question of what is the string itself. It's not a thing, it's just a fundamental piece of the universe. It's just a nothing that vibrates. It's a, it's a nothing that vibrates, but makes up everything. So I'm made up of vibrating strings that are made up of nothing. Vibrating strings in nothingness. Small in scale. nothingness? Absolutely. Great. I'm going to go have an existential crisis now. Thank okay. you. Bye. Wait, what do you mean in nothingness? <laughs> so to recap, string theory is a theory that, if we could prove it, could link together a bunch of other theories about the way that the world works. It's not the only theory that exists, but it is a really interesting one. And it says that the most fundamental thing that makes up the universe is basically a string that exists in one dimension yet vibrates in multiple dimensions. How? I don't know. And the vibrations tell us what that string is creating. So everything in the world is made up of these vibrating loops. And if we can learn to understand them better, then we could probably influence them, right? And we could make technologies and apparently influence gravity and maybe even time in ways that my mind cannot even fathom at this point. Strings. Well, that ties that up with a nice little bow of string theory string. The expert in that video, Garant, also has a video about the end of the universe that you can see in the link in the description below. It's a little bit longer than an elevator ride, but I highly recommend it. Just make a cup of tea before you go watch it. If you want to see more videos from us, then you can hit that subscribe button to get an alert when something is ready. You can expect something from us next week as well. And if there's some big idea that you want explained in a claustrophobic space, then put that in the comments below and I'll see if I can find an expert who can explain it to me so that I can explain it to you. See you next time.